I'm going to show you how to predict the binding of 52 antiviral drugs to HIV protease using BOLTS2 in Chimera X. To do this, you're going to need a Chimera X version newer than August 20th, 2025. I'll go to Tools, Structure Prediction, BOLTS. And the first thing I need to do is add the HIV protease dimer. I could paste in the sequence here. Uh, but I can also just take it from a, a existing structure. So I'm going to open an existing structure instead. It's a little bit easier. And then here where it says add molecule, I'll choose number one and press add. So it's added two copies of the Proteus monomer and two sodium atoms. Now I want to add the 52 drugs that we, we want to dock. And to do that, under this menu, I uh, choose each ligand smile string. And I've prepared a file of uh, the drug names and a comma, and then the smile string representing that drug. Okay, one drug per line. I'm going to just copy and paste that here and press add. Uh, I can change the name of the prediction. This is the directory that's used the name of the directory where the run will be done. I'll say HIV protease and I'll press predict. Okay, so these predictions are going to be run one at a time. Um, it's not going to use the structure that I've opened here of HIV protease. It's only using the sequence. Uh, it will predict the full protein structure, but it will come out to be quite similar to this experimental structure. And um, it will take about two hours on this Mac M2 Ultra that I'm running it on. On a Linux uh, system with NVIDIA 4090, it took 14 minutes to predict all 52. Okay, so when it finishes, it will show a table. Let me show you what that table looks will look like. Um, when it finishes, it writes a comma-separated value file, and that's put in the history here. Here it's called 1TW7BZ bolts ligands. So I click that. This is the table of uh, results that you would get after a couple hours. Let me restack my windows here so you have more room to see that. And I can load, you see they have a confidence score, affinity score, binding probability in the table. You can sort, for instance, by affinity by clicking on the affinity column. You can open one of the structures or more than one by selecting them and clicking the open button. Here it didn't align it to the original structure. I can align it with the matchmaker command. Okay, so uh, I made a, a copy of this table, an image, and just to highlight the ones that are actual HIV protease inhibitors. And you'll see here where it's sorted by affinity, uh, binding affinity, all of the 10 or so HIV, known HIV protease inhibitors are near the top of the list of these 52. This is an unusual situation because there's a lot of HIV protease structures with bound drugs in the PDB that were used to train bolts. If you're running predictions on drugs that are novel, that are not in the PDB, and or on binding pockets that are not found in the PDB that bolts was trained on, then the prediction, you can expect prediction riddles to be much, much worse. Thanks for listening.